A corset is a fine thing, invented by the devil, but a fine thing. Now for some slippers. Now I just happen to have a pair that I think put it on. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's glass. It's Venetian glass, made by a genius in Venice who sold it for a good price to a bazaar keeper, who sold it at a great profit to a merchant from Rome, who sold them at a great profit to a shopkeeper in Paris, who sold them at a great profit. Everybody made money. Everybody was happy. That's economics. But it does feel strange, you know. Don't think about it. Keep walking. Practice helps. Wink it qui patitur. He conquers who endures. All women must endure these discomforts. Why? The fashion. It fascinates men. Makes them marvel at women. Fills them with awe. <laughs> because they know they couldn't stand it. How are they now? They're much better. I'm, I'm getting used to them. Head up. Back straight. This looks familiar. Pink and white. Rosebuds and... And crystals. Oh. But dear Mrs. Duke, where did you get it? I borrowed it. Now, a headdress. A little crown of some sort. A diadem. But if they see me wearing it... Oh, they won't. You'll be in the kitchen. Oh, yes, yes, sir. I'll go straight to the kitchen. Now, now the hair and the rouge and the perfume. Oh. oh well, this presents something of a problem. Head up, back straight, and very, very, very slowly. <laughs> Here's your coach. I made a little arrangement with the coachman. Oh, Mrs. Stokin, nobody in my whole life has said thank you. You've already said that a dozen times. I love you. That's very good. When you learn to love one person, it's that much easier to love others. Now, in you go. Does she know about leaving at midnight? Ah, yes. You see, he must take you home at midnight so that he can go back to the palace in time to pick up his people. They're leaving at one o'clock. So if you leave promptly at midnight, nobody will be the wiser. Nobody will be annoyed and everybody will be happy. That's diplomacy. I'll remember midnight.